And we also have with us tonight Mr. Peter Obi, who has joined us in for the service this evening. Hallelujah. that may be seated in any part, anywhere in the congregation, we recognize you and we welcome you very dearly. To God alone be the glory forever. Tonight also, we have one of our presidential candidates in the next election. Amen. Have some silence. Let's have silence, please. Thank you, Jesus. Let's have silence. Please be seated, everybody. Amen. Please stay organized as winners in the house. Amen. We have with us tonight, Mr. Peter Obi in the service, coming to fellowship. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, let's be seated. Hallelujah.
Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything about things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election. In this video, I want to talk about an issue that people are trying to make a mountain out of. It is actually not. It's about that uh, the B2B goes to churches to campaign. No, he doesn't go to churches to campaign. He attends church programs as a Christian. He is entitled to it. And whenever he goes to these church programs, people showed him love. People showed him, people showed him appreciation. They have this, this, he represents hope for a new nature. So you see the eruption of joy. You see aesthetic the display of love. It's on parallel in Nigeria's political history. So people are celebrating him for just being there. And it's not only in churches that this thing happened. If you remember when the Nigerian Bar Association did a program in Lagos, a, a national convention program, you saw what happened when B2B was announced there. The whole place erupted with joy. As Atiku Abaka, the presidential candidate of PDB, was there. Rabbi Wampa, so the presidential candidate of MMPP was there. Um, Kashim Shetima, who represented his principal as for the Bola Metinubu, was there. But it was as if they were not there. But they were there. Because there was an eruption of joy when Peter was announced. You can't say that lawyers are as people who know. But even lawyers saw who. In him, there was a eruption of joy. When the Nigerian uh, bankers did their program and invited political parties, you saw the way that Peter was received with joy. Joy erupted in their midst. That is exactly what you see also in the churches. When he goes to any program, people see hope in him. That is the joy you see in people. And I challenge anybody to show me any video. You can show the link to that video where Peter has ever told anybody to vote for him because he's a Christian inside any church. You can't get that. The highest he has ever said is that Nigerians should take back their country. And that's, he says it everywhere, whether in the secular environment or in the, the church environment. He said Nigerians should take back their country. And that is not about campaign. He didn't say vote for me. He's talking about that Nigerians should take back their country. So he has never told anybody to vote for him because he's a Christian. In fact, he has been the one saying it. Do not vote for me because I'm an evil man. Do not vote for me because I'm from Southeast. Do not vote for me because I'm a Christian. That this election is about competence, capacity, and the ability to deliver. But you see how people are there, or all the opportunity when they see him in churches, they try to say he will go there to campaign, go there for endorsement. He has already been endorsed in the hearts of many Nigerians. So why are they agitated that he goes to church? What stopped APC candidate from going to church? What stopped Tinubu from going to church? Has, did it, Tinubu, was Tinubu not aware that he's supposed to balance his ticket when he was running for, when he picked uh, Kashim Shetima? If I had picked the most a Christian, maybe a Christian would be going to church too. In any case, Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, the incumbent president, when he was campaigning, he also went to church. He attended some reading program. You saw it. You have seen it. I can also put a link to those programs that Buhari attended in churches, especially already. So if Buhari a Muslim, in search of votes, could be seen 
to attend the Redeem Church. He was there with pictures and everything. So what stopped Obi, who was born a Christian, from going to church? But Obi's ticket is also is well balanced. As a, a Muslim there, the Baptist goes to go to mosque. It's yes, even laughing when people talk about this issue of religion. To be doing religion, the people doing religion are the APC. If you see the reason why as well, the Bonham people actually actually selected Shiki, but because of religion, he believed that the North is overwhelmingly Muslim. So if he has to get their vote, he has to go and pick a Muslim. That's being religious. If religion means nothing to him, he would have picked a Northern Christian. In his mind, he believed that North are, Northern Muslims are majority. So he's going for a Northern Muslim. And then uh, only only those who have no sense will be very, will be deceived into believing that he did it because uh, Shekima has some kind of capacity that nobody in the North not the North and Christian has capacity to do whatever Shekima can do. It's all about religion. Even these days, you see as what well, Bolabe to go into mosque and they will be sharing the the the, the, the pictures. How many people have ever seen Aswad Balame to go to mosque before now? As a practicing, as a Muslim, how many have seen him in a mosque situation? Except now that every Friday they can show you where he was sitting down in the mosque. If the people have been going to Hajj before, have you ever seen any image of it? But it was as election was getting closer, APC primary was getting closer. He started going to uh, small hive and sharing the pictures and the images. So the people should be careful how they talk about this because the, the people who have been playing religion is at the APC and they are presidential candidates. It's all about religion. Look at what that's what Bala Medibu said before the APC primary. He told Muslims he attended a program organized by the Sharia Council of Nigeria, the Russian state, and he told them that they should support so that uh, a, a Muslim will become the next president of Nigeria. Yes, he said it. Are you seen it? The links are, I can put the link again so that you can also verify it. So, who are the people playing religion? They are the ones playing religion. He told them that they should support a Muslim to become the next president. In fact, he told them they should establish a department of politics or something like that. So that they could be able to ensure that a Muslim becomes the next president of Nigeria. And he knew that the next president could be from South Nigeria. So he positioned himself to be a beneficiary of that. Even his uh, relation who, is, who, was, who was the governor of Washington State at that time reminded the audience there that uh, he is the only Muslim governor left in Southwest Nigeria. That was playing a religious card. So you can see that there's no thing to blame Bitobi about. So all this noise is about that Bitobi is seeking for endorsement. It is his right to seek for. It does, but he's not even seeking for them. It does not. He only attends those programs. In any case, where are they concerned? They said that people will be supporters have this kind of social media. Why are they worried that they saw the eruption of joy following his presence in church programs? Maybe those churches are in inside social media, they are not a real real life. And nothing stopped them from attending. Like I said, Buhari attended reading programs ahead of election. You've seen it. So if Buhari was a, 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 a Muslim, could attend such a program, I don't see anything wrong with people being attending Christian programs, whether invited or not uninvited. This is a man who is going to be the next president of Nigeria. He need the spiritual equipment that he could get. 
so that he will not be like every other president of Nigeria who went to Asurok and forgets the reason why they were there. So nobody can blame uh, the Toby or say that he was he's seeking for, for, for endorsement from the churches. In fact, everybody should seek for endorsement, even from mosques, from everywhere. But that's not even what P2B is doing. He's only attending programs and people shows in law. And as I've said earlier, when he attends secular program, that is how people shows in law. There's enthusiastic love. It's organic. It's not like the kind of love people show to uh, Tinubu because they want to collect money from him. Or the kind of love people show to Atiku because they want to collect money from him. Peter B's own is organic. It's natural. He doesn't have to pay money for it. That's why if you go to on social media everywhere, people are making programs, spending their data just to keep Peter B in the consciousness of Nigerians. They were not asking for anything. All they need is good governance, and they believe that Peter B can give good governance if he wills. That's basically it. So it's not about religion. Peter B himself has said it. Do not vote for me because of religion. Do not vote for me because of ethnicity. Vote for me for capacity. But he cannot run away from his own shadows. His people love him. There are people who love him because he's a Christian. There are those who love him because of his own. There are those who love him just because he's the most competent. He can't stop those people from loving him. And he shows him love everywhere he goes. And he, doesn't, he didn't stop anybody. Like I told you before, nobody knows he attends mosque or goes to, uh, goes to mosque. Don't go to Hajj. But the NPC primary was getting closer, which he used to age out Professor Sigemir Sibanjo and capture the mind of Northern Muslims. And they dumped to Sibanjo. And uh, they now have an issue with uh, Muslim, Muslim tickets, which they are trying to see how they manage it and convince Nigeria that it doesn't matter. So basically, the truth of the matter is that as what Bola made Tinubu, if there's anybody to be blamed, it is the APC and as what Bola made who are playing religious card. P2B only attends programs, which is his right to do. And he doesn't stop anyone from attending. Um, uh, Tikwa Baka can attend. Uh, his deputy, previous presidential candidate, uh, this, this man can attend, Dr. Goa. So it's, 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 it's a free world. It's recognized by the law. It's in their fundamental human right to attend any religious gathering they want to attend. Atiku himself has also attended uh, where he received uh, some religious leaders, Muslim religious leaders, and talked to them and stuff like that. And they shared them in the media. So there's nothing wrong with it. So people should stop making a mountain out of a molehill by saying that Peter goes to churches or he went for endorsement. Yes. If you are angry with it, tell your principal to attend. Those of them in the APC and PDP who are unhappy, tell your principal to attend. The churches do not put barricade. Say, Atiku should not be allowed to enter. Okowa should not be allowed to enter. Buha, um, Tinubu should not be allowed to enter. Tinubu said, his wife is said to be a pastor. So Tinubu should be able to walk into any church and listen to the word of God. Perhaps his life will change for the better. That is it. That is basically it. Because even if somebody is to attend because of politics, it is allowed. It is allowed. I remember Barack Obama. He was attending black churches regularly before the elections in 2008. Even when he was seeking the election in 2008, he was attending those church programs, church, church programs regularly, black churches. So nobody should deceive anybody that uh, there's anything wrong in it. It is trying to connect with the people, trying to connect with the people. 
If a person want to be connected with the Christian community, they should have balanced their ticket. But they didn't. And they PDP themselves, they have a Christian vice presidential candidate, so they can take advantage of it by appearing in programs so that they, they can connect to the Christian community. There's nothing wrong with it. It is within the law. As long as they're not there to campaign, they're just connecting with the people. A lot can be said without saying anything. P2B's presence in all those programs says a lot without saying anything. He was not campaigning, but his presence shows that they have a person who connects to them, who connects with them. And this person also happens to be competent. He has capacity. And he is not tainted by corruption, by stealing, by the other candidates. He has a clean record. His star is shining brighter than all of them. The one, the rest of them. Thank you for watching this video and uh, if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel in the subscription, bot subscription button, in the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you will be among the first to know. God bless you. And don't forget to like this video because when you like this video, Google will rank it higher and make it available for others to see so that as more people see it, that is how people will make wise choice in 2023 presidential election. Thank you and God bless you.